Today we are going to be making a lyrics video in Camtasia. This is a very easy to understand software and it's what I use to edit all of my YouTube videos. And I'm also working on a course on how to edit YouTube videos and I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. But today I got this um, project for one of my clients to do a simple lyric video. And I decided to show you guys how to do this and maybe you can use this to um, freelance to offer as a service as on a freelance platform like Fiverr or Upwork or anywhere else that you want to freelance. Also, you can message people, maybe artists on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook or friends even. You can just create lyric videos for them. You can get some pay from that as well. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. So right now what I have done is I have laid down the background video, um, laid down the music. So I've named them the music track and then the BG video track. For this background video, you can get it from somewhere like pixels.com or you can even get something that's royalty free from YouTube. Um, but just make sure that whatever you're taking, you have license to use it and so but this particular one i got from the stock library here on camtasia so if you go to library and scroll down to where it says motion backgrounds there are a couple of them here and this is the one i'm using the mountain dawn um, background so if i play you'll see some movement um, so let me turn off the music and so you see how the video goes so you can see some movement in the clouds there um, but you want to generally pick a background that has some type of movement that have some type of interest and um, sometimes you can find something with with um, on the street with cars moving sometimes it could also be um, some type of 2d animation or 3d animation just find something interesting that doesn't also look too much okay um, just with a little going on in the background and so that's that for the background and now what we need to do is um, let me just walk you through the steps the thing we're going to do is lay over text and with some animation going on. I'm going to show you how to do that on Camtasia. The next thing you can do is get some particle effect over it and just maybe um, reduce the transparency and just so that you can add some more interest. So let's get into doing the main thing, which is typing in the lyrics and putting some animations onto it. I'm going to turn on the music, go all the way back and let's go. So for this intro, there's no music. I'm just going to, maybe this part, I'm going to introduce the artist, maybe putting the name of the producer and the name of the artist. But let's just go first with the main thing, which is the lyrics. I'm alive. So it says, I'm alive. So the thing we're going to do is go to our notations and pick one of the text here. I'm just going to drag this and drop it there. and. The thing I like about Camtasia is um, all tracks behave, uh, whatever you drop into the track, it just takes the takes on the character of that particular thing. So you don't have to create separate um, files, uh, sorry, separate tracks for videos and separate tracks for text or audio or anything. So if I just drag this and drop it in, it's going to act as, it's going to understand that I'm trying to do text. So you can um, stretch out the text as much as you want. So, but let's start from here. So I'm going to just add another track. I'm going to right click and on this track we already have, go to insert track, I'm going to put it below. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can have some overlay. So these two tracks would be for my um, lyrics. Maybe we can just rename them text one and call this text two and we move on. So I can put text here. And so if I want the text to overlay, I can, I can have that effect. So anyways, um, let's go back. This is where it begins. So it starts here by saying I'm alive. So I'm just going to drop that there. And then I'm going to work on this first text because this is pretty much going to be a copy and paste thing. It's very easy. So um, um, the most important thing that's going to make your leg video shine is the, the choice of font to use and the effect that you throw onto the font or the text. So um, for me, I like to use something that has a bit of character that is bold and easy to read. You know, so um, I have one in mind already. You can go, this is a free font. You can go uh, on dafont.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description to that to this font and find the font. It's called Agentum. So this is basically the um, our theme um, font on the Brim Factor Agentum. So I'm going to use the sand black one here 
and you can see how bold it looks uh, I'm going to spread it up so that you can I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see um, how it looks increase the size there so you see it has a lot of character I'm going to make it italized as well so that there is a, a bit more character coming out of it so now let's just type in double click there and just type in um, I'm alive so you see how that looks really um, nice and just bold and and dominant you know so uh, you want to use fonts like these are very simple and easy to read because if you're doing a lyric video and people cannot uh, read what you're doing maybe you take a font that is really funky and has a lot of um, movement in it then you're just going to lose your your viewers so that is what we're going to use maybe we're going to drop some effect here head over to visual effects if you don't see it listed here click on more and you will see it in the list down here but this is it visual effects and i am going to drop a shadow the reason why i'm doing this right now is because i don't want to um finish working on this and then realize oh i didn't put a drop shadow or something then i have to um change it or add it on individually on all of the text so i want to make sure that this particular first text looks exactly how i want everything else to look so i'm going to drop a shadow there to zoom the track just click on the zoom tool there and you can see we can see better what we're doing so there's a shadow there and uh, if i turn it off it feels like it's not doing much but it does separate the um it, it does separate the text from the background a bit more so i'm just going to do that and then i think that's about it i want to keep this really simple so um i'm not doing too much here so drop that in the middle So that um, lyric ends there. So I now I'm going to go to um, the behaviors. This is where we're going to add um, effects onto the text. If you hover over um, a particular behavior, um, you, it's going to show you how that's going to look. So so you just go through and see what you want. But I want something really simple. Maybe this will work or the fade. I'm thinking between the pop up and the fade. But let's scroll down a bit more and see what um, the reveal is cool. Um, that's also cool. A lot of really nice um, behaviors here. Uh, I'm having a hard time choosing one, honestly, because they all look simple and kind of like what I want. But let's go back. I think I'm just going to do the... No, let's do the pop-up. I think I like that more. Go back. So I'm going to scroll back up here and go back in. So yeah, I like that. Um, so let's keep going with that. So you see how simple this is. I copy that and I paste it and I'm going to drop it on the second track, the text two track there. And I think this line says, because of you. I'm alive because of you, Lord. Because of you, Lord. So let's add that. Because of you, Lord. I'm going to copy this again and paste. Let's see what it says. Because of you. I am saved because of you. So I am just going to. I am saved. Be because. So let's go back and see what it looks like together. I'm alive of you, Lord. I am of you. So you see why I had to use three, um, two tracks for the text. Um, you can see here that there is a bit of an overlay and it can make for a nice um, transition between one um, set of text to another where it seems like the other one they just blend nicely as opposed to here where there is a noticeable this one has to end go off before this begins like here there's a gap here you know so watch how the difference from here Lord, I am 
So you see, it was like how um, I am saved was dropping. You know, it was just dropping while this guy came on. And that's the reason why you, you need two tracks for this because you want to follow the way the song is going. So if there is a pause, you want to space it out. If one line is coming just immediately after one, the other is ending, then you also want to overlay and have that um, um, consistency between the text and what is being sung. So yeah. Because of you, if you feel like using the same effect is getting too boring, you can um, come back and change um, some of the behaviors. And also you can play around before I go ahead and copy and paste. You can actually play around here and see what you can do under the behaviors, um, the properties, the behaviors properties. If you select the text, uh, right now you can see this um, this effect we have on because of you here's what's happening so we have an in effect we have a during effect and then we have an out effect so this simply tells what happens at every given point in time um, throughout the the lifespan of the animation so when it's coming in this is what's happening so if you want to exaggerate the tension you can try that and see what it looks like because of you so you see how quick it goes, it comes in. Um, that's the tension. So if I reduce it a lot now, because of you, because of you. So you see the tension there. Um, so you can you can try different movements. There's the spring. Let's try what the smooth looks like. You know, so um, that's a way that you can use the same behavior and, and spice it up and maybe based on how a, a particular line is sung, maybe like they stretch because of you, this could work, the smooth could work because they stretch because of you. So keep it, uh, making it stretch out like that could also fit how it's sung. Let's listen. Because of you. So I won't go through all of this, but you can get creative with this. I just wanted to show you this section. Um, this is in. You can also play around with the during and the out and just play around and really know your way around how the behaviors work. Um, so yeah, but for now, I'm just going to keep things simple. Uh, maybe I'm just going to leave it as it is and then go ahead and copy and flesh out everything. So now I've gone on to um, lay out the whole lyrics just copied and pasted um, all of the lyrics and arranged them um, pretty much the same thing as i did from the beginning but what you're seeing right now is uh, i've not lost my work it's particles i've downloaded a a video of particles you can get this from um, somewhere like pixels.com or pixabay make sure it's something that's royalty free and then if we like that so um, what I'm going to do now is select all of them and then right click I am going to stitch all of this together or you can also do Control alt I to stitch it all together so if I click it's one file then I am going to go over to the properties panel here and reduce the opacity of this like the like that and it's going to reveal my um, my work underneath so but I, I'm just going to um, put it to taste uh, let's see so you can see the movement there in, just in front and it also kind of deans your your work and makes it have this um, cool feel to it so if I bring it all the way down you see it's really bright and in your face but if I add the particle a little bit it just softens everything up I'm a So let me add it a little bit more. You, Lord, Maybe some more. I am because of you. I'm alive because of Maybe reduce a bit so that I can see, I can have some light. Yeah, I think that's just perfect. I am so I also did some intro thing here, putting the name of the artist and the producer of the music. I'm alive because of you. 
so there guys there you have it that's how you make a lyric video in Camtasia um, if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we put out valuable content like this from time to time I'm going to leave a link to this video on YouTube in the description so that you can go out and check it out and also support the artist if you think it's an amazing song I do think it's an amazing song so um, yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video take care